Hi guys, welcome back to And Then There Was Style. Now if this is your first time here, definitely take a moment and subscribe to the channel. And if you've been here before, then welcome back. Also take a look at some of our previous videos. You are sure to find some things on there that you love. But in today's video, let's continue with various types of design and home decor. Let's talk about Scandinavian. Now, if you strongly believe that there's beauty and simplicity, Scandinavian design is for you. Since its inception during the early 20th century, this aesthetic has embodied a sense of minimalism and, of course, functionality. The appeal of Scandinavian living rooms reaches much further than the Nordic countries of Sweden, Norway, Finland, and Denmark. Around the world, many people adore Scandi-style home decor. This video is here to help bring you inspiration as you dream of designing your own Scandinavian living room, bedroom, or any other room. These Nordic ideas will help you create a beautiful room that works for every member of your home. Also, if you haven't got the chance yet, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at And Then There Was Style. If you're interested in Scandinavian interior design, you already know, or maybe just learning, that this style of Nordic decor is influenced by minimalism and practicality. Scandinavian decor is all about using furniture that takes a simple form and decorative objects that are also highly functional. There's rarely any frivolous vibe to any of the things and everything is simple and basically has its own purpose. But if you are looking for a pure definition, take note. Scandinavian interior design is a minimalistic style using a blend of textures and soft hues to make sleek modern decor feel warm and inviting. It emphasizes clean lines, utility, and simple furnishings that are functional, beautiful, and cozy. Now, at this point in the video, you may be wondering, all of this background and information about Scandinavian design and decor is awesome, but how do I implement this style? How do I achieve this style in my home? If that's your question, here is your answer. Number one, play with natural light. Scandinavian interior design is known for its minimalist color palettes cozy accents, and striking modern furniture. Designs often play with natural light, which is a hot commodity in Nordic countries. High contrast are the hallmark of Scandinavian interior design. So for instance, if you have an all-white dining room, 
dark black sculptural furniture will help to create a dramatic, impactful statement. Modern furniture also contrasts with the ornate architectural details that are common in historic buildings in Northern Europe. Tip number three, choose mod furniture. Even in newly built contemporary spaces, mod furniture is key to achieving the look that you desire. Tip number four, choose muted colors. Choose colors that are muted tones of taupe, ivory, and sage. Black and white photography, olive branches, and a small brass bowl all can serve as minimalist decorative accents. Those are just some random ones that I threw out, but I think you get the idea. Next tip, incorporate colorful art in multiples. Colorful art is seldom found in Scandinavian interiors, but when it is, it's often in graphic multiples. So for instance, like a series of botanical prints. Also, in the dining room, furniture is often kept simple. Mid-century chairs and a floating storage buffet. Candles are the hallmark of Nordic style and often come in simple brass candle holders. So speaking of Huga, which is a Danish and Norwegian word for a mood of being cozy and comfortable with feelings of wellness and contentment. Little pro tip for you, you will also hear that word a lot during this home decor style. Um, not just from this video, but that word kind of embodies what this style is all about. It's being cozy, it's being comfortable, having everything kind of at your fingertips. So you'll definitely hear that word more and more. But speaking of cozy, the Danes try to incorporate this philosophy in all aspects of their decor. Make it as cozy and comfortable as possible. So for example, you may have a bed pushed up against a window to let in that beautiful natural light that we have spoken about before. It also gives you more space in the room. You may even see curtains separating the sleeping space, further adding to the feel of coziness. Also, don't be scared to mix textures. A living room featuring a simple, clean line piece of furniture and muted neutral tones could easily feel cold and uninviting, but if you pair that with striking photography and a cozy mix of textures like sheepskin throws and killum rugs, it just feels welcoming and, of course, inviting. Kind of that cozy we were talking about. Also, and this is not going to be an easy one, but if you are designing your home from scratch and you know that you want a Scandinavian feel in your home, Scandinavian homes are known to have fireplaces in the corner of a room, not centered on a wall like our homes here. Thus, the seating arrangements are often designed accordingly. Smaller accent chairs float closer to the fireplace, while sofas generally anchor the middle of the room, which of course leaves walking space behind it.
Okay guys, so we are definitely heading towards the end of this video, but before we get there, I want you to comment your favorite room down below in the comment section. I am so eager to hear it. I gave you tons of options. Can't wait to see which one that you picked. Alright guys, as usual, I asked you to comment your favorite room below in the comment section. If you want to know mine, it is this. I felt even though this is a purely Scandinavian room, it's cozy, it's light, it's airy. I feel like I say that about so many rooms, but I really love this one. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with other home decor lovers, and subscribe to the channel. We will see you in the next video. Bye guys.